let's um, determine the equation for the terminal velocity of a falling mass. So you can um, treat this as a, uh, for instance, a skydiver jumping out of an airplane. Uh, accelerates uh, downward due to gravity and then the, uh, the air, the wind on him, will push him up and will balance the force of gravity so that he reaches a constant velocity. Okay, so here is the uh, falling mass and uh, gravity force is in, in down direction and then if the velocity, if the mass is falling so the velocity is down then the uh, air resistance force will be up. So we assume that there is no air resistance when the velocity is zero and then with increasing velocity there's an increasing air resistance. So uh, we want to model these forces so we write down Newton's equation so mass times the acceleration which we write as dv dt is equal to the gravitational force which is minus m g g is the usual 9.8 meters per second squared defined as positive so the force is in the negative direction and then a force due to air resistance which is proportional to the velocity so here's the proportionality constant is k times the velocity k is a constant which we'll take to be a positive proportionality constant and then there's a uh, sign here a plus or a minus sign so in with this axis drawn up and um, if the velocity is downward so v is negative here v is negative here then the force is supposed to be positive direction so a negative v to make this term positive should be a minus sign um, it also works if v is positive if the ball was moving up then the force would be in the opposite direction down so if v was positive the force would be negative so there's still a minus sign so in general this is the correct equation provided that our axis here is pointing upward. Okay, the, ch the equation changes if we change the direction of the axis, but the physics is the same. Okay, uh, and then we can solve this equation with an initial condition, so we'll assume that the mass is uh, perhaps a skydiver, so at t equals zero, the velocity of the mass we take to be zero, so that would be the vertical velocity of the mass. Okay, so uh, this is both a separable equation and a linear equation. Um, we can solve it uh, either by separating variables or using the equation for, uh, for the solution of a linear equation. Uh, if we separate variables, we can write dv dt equals um, minus uh, g minus k over m v, or maybe a minus plus, right? And then uh, separate the variables, so uh, dv over uh, g plus k over m v equals minus dt integrate from t equals zero to t from the initial velocity of zero to a velocity of v uh, this left right hand side is simply minus t right the left hand side uh, looks like a log. We have to uh, change variables. We can let u equals g plus k over m v. So du equals k over m dv, right? So then uh, we need a uh, 
multiply by k over m on the inside to convert k over m dv to du. And then on the outside, we need to multiply by m over k. So we have uh, m over k times the integral. And then we have a uh, k over m dv becomes a du. And g plus k over mv becomes a u. And the limits are when uh, v equals 0, u is g. And when v equals v, u is uh, g plus k over m v. Right? That's the left hand side. So that's going to be uh, both uh, num the uh, lower limit and the upper limit are positive. So that becomes m over k log g plus k over m v divided by g. And that's supposed to be equal to minus t. So uh, we multiply by k over m and um, take the exponential of both sides and then multiply by uh, g. So uh, we end up with uh, g plus k over m v equals um, g times e to the minus k t over m, right? And then uh, we subtract g and multiply by m over k. So we get v of t equals uh, m over m g over k. Let's see, subtract g, multiply by m over k, and then we have a e to the minus k t over m minus 1, so I can pull out the minus sign. And then we have a 1 minus e to the minus kt over m. OK? And that's the equation for the velocity. So the uh, terminal velocity is when uh, t goes to infinity. So the terminal velocity. Vt is the limit, or maybe we should call it V infinity, is the limit as uh, t goes to infinity of V of t, which will be uh, the exponential goes to zero, so it's minus mg over k, right? Which we could have gotten from the differential equation by setting, simply setting dv dt equal to zero, right? So when dv dt equals zero, then v is, is uh, minus mg over k. So that's the um, terminal velocity. And our uh, equations gave us the approach to terminal velocity as an exponential. So if we use uh, v infinity, then we've got v of t is equal to uh, v infinity times 1 minus e to the minus kt over m. Okay. Uh, it's interesting to put in some numbers here. Um, for instance, uh, if we know that the terminal velocity of a skydiver is something like 200 kilometers per hour, right? And 
that the mass of the skydiver is uh, say 100 kilograms so that's the person plus uh, all of his equipment right then we can compute K and we find that uh, K turns out to be 63,504 kilograms per hour right and we get V of T equals one half the terminal velocity right at a time so we can solve this equation for T and when we do that we see that a skydiver will attain 100 kilometers per hour speed when T is about four seconds okay four seconds and then V of T equals 95% uh, of the terminal velocity right and plugging that in we will find this is about 17 seconds okay so the skydiver will go from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in about 4 seconds and then 100 kilometers per hour to 190 kilometers per hour in additional 13 seconds